I did it, y'all. It's official. We pick up the car tomorrow at 10. I think they said be there at 1030. So I will be there at 1030. Just another update. I'll be back tomorrow. Guys, so I got the car and it's my first week with it. And I did name her Wednesday. This is the outside. And then we're gonna do a tour of the inside. It is a 2020 and it had like 19,000 miles on it. So I'm really loving it so far. And it is fully loaded. Like I said, her name is Grace Day. I wanted to name her Wednesday, but she wasn't all black. So that's why she is named Grace Day. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside. But let me show you guys something real cool before I hop in. This is my favorite feature. If I hold down the unlock button, it'll roll down all my windows and then open the sunroof as well. And then if I hold the lock button down, it'll close them and lock everything back up. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, so we are inside the car now and this is what it looks like when you hop in. It is a GLB 250 Fomatic, and it came fully loaded. It has the panoramic sunroof. This is the back seat. It has the um, ambient lighting in the doors and on the floor in the back seat, but you can't see it right now. It also has the third row back there. I just love that. And then what sold me on the car was the ambient lighting. I ain't gonna lie, because you can change it for so many options. Like, we, that's the glacier blue. Let's do the jungle green, see what that looks like. Oh, I like that. And then let's try color flash. What is that? You can make them um, change colors and a whole bunch of different stuff. But what's the color mix? That's probably just a cycle of all the colors. Oh, and it's mixing it up. It's like red up there, and then it's green down here. And then that'll probably switch up in a minute. But I tend to keep mine on the purple sky option. Because at nighttime, it feel like you're riding in a spaceship, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Like, these right here, as I turn my AC up and down, they go red or blue. So if I turn my AC up, it'll go red. And if I turn it down, it'll go blue like I'm doing AC. I mean, that's just so freaking cool. It has the option to park itself. If I'm close to a parking spot, I can just hit that button and it will park itself. I don't know if I'm gonna try that. It has the heated seats and the memory seats in both doors. I got my YouTube planner over there, y'all. Like, I'm really trying to get better with my YouTube. And then, like, it has so many options. It has the Apple CarPlay. I can say, hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Change the ambient lighting to green. Okay, I'm changing the color. Look, look. Like, I love it. I love it. It's a 2020 GLB Fomatic. And it had about 18, 19,000 miles when I first purchased, purchased it. Well, when I purchased it, I've only had it a week so far, but I'm in love with it. I'm going to keep it for two or three years until I do want to upgrade. And then here are my options over here for, I can set my settings for my seats and then there go my heated seats. It doesn't have the cool seats, but I'm fine with that. That's okay. And it has so many smart features on it. Like... I was when I first got it the first night when I was driving up the highway on the way home I was kind of sleepy and the car knew that like a warning blinked up like pull over and get some rest I mean it's cool hey Mercedes how may I help you change the ambient lighting to pink I'm turning on the ambient light okay she didn't turn her pink on hey Mercedes how can I help? Change the ambient lighting to purple. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Change. Okay, let me just do it myself. I'm sorry. I can't operate the ambient lighting. Okay, I'll do it myself. 
myself because I don't know what just happened to her. And then see this little knob right here? That allows you to change it to all the different color options. Don't pay attention to my nails. I just took a set off and I'm going to get them done this week. But, okay. Let me go back towards like the pink because I want pink. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. But I love it. I got it from CarMax and the process was real easy. I did an express pickup. So I just got there and she was ready for me. I just had to sign for my um, tag and title and I was ready to go because I did my insurance and everything before I got there. But it's a real nice vehicle. I love it. And it just, every time I get in here, I just feel blessed. And it just makes me want to work even harder. So I'm going to be working a lot harder. I'm going to be posting a lot more vlogs. Hopefully y'all like these type of videos. And I do want to talk about the process of me getting the car from CarMax and all that. Because y'all know this car was on my vision board. Like, I had this car on my vision board for over a year. And when 2023 came, I was gonna take it off my vision board. But I said, no, keep it on there. And then not even two weeks later, I got my car. But I'm going to go ahead and play some B-roll for y'all while we drive through the city. And I'm going to talk over that because, of course, I'm going to be playing some music. So I don't want to get a copyright strike because I'm almost monetized, y'all. But I'm going to play some B-roll of me riding through the city downtown where I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm in Buckhead. Yeah, so I'm going to play some B-roll of that. And I'll talk about the process of me getting the car over the top of the B-roll. Hope you guys enjoy the B-roll. And hopefully the sun will drop as I'm driving so you guys can really see the interior for what it is. If not, by the time I get to the house, it'll be dark and I'll do another video. But I'll catch y'all in the B-roll. Okay, you guys. I'm going to start by saying if you haven't already... Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, but now I want to talk about the car buying process. I did purchase this car from CarMax. I didn't really take a lot of footage, but I will insert a picture of me with my bow when I picked up my car. Because when I purchased my car, I did the... Um, express pickup which is an option where you can do everything online and then when you get to the CarMax the only thing you have to do is sign the paperwork for your tag and title you take your picture with your bow and you're out of there after you look at your car and make sure you like everything like I didn't even test drive it because I knew it was good it's a 2020 and 19,000 miles on it it's still under factory warranty and it has the CarMax warranty now, I'm going to talk about the process and the paperwork and everything I had to do online. I did start applying with CarMax maybe two or three months ago. I would run the app like once a month because every time you run the app, it doesn't affect your credit and you get a pre-approval. Every time I would run the app over the past few months, I just wasn't liking the numbers. The APR was like 27% and then they wanted so much down for the cars. So I worked on my credit. I'm not going to lie. I did work on my credit a little bit. And then some told me to just run it this month and see. So I ran it this month just out of the blue and I got better options. So I was able to get my car for zero down and that was a blessing and it's crazy because they had older cars and different options but for older cars they wanted like three or four thousand down and the APR on those cars would have been more for me so I was kind of forced into getting a nicer car but like I said this car was on my vision board I really wanted it and God came through I prayed and I worked hard and now I'm driving through the city in my dream car. Hope you guys like the video.
gets a better view of the interior at nighttime. I just love it. And then in the back, you have the lights and the doors and on the floors. And let me show you real quick. I'll change it up a few different colors so y'all can see it. Color, look, change it to red. Well, that's like, oh, I don't know what, that's like a pink. And then there's the red. Then we go over here and do like a yellow. That's like an orange, let me try yellow. There we go. Then they got green. I like the green too. Do like a blue. But I love it. And then you have multicolor anim animation. This is the one I always leave mine to. The blue and purple. And then I put it on animation so it'll switch. But these are the preset options. You got blue. Then you got the purple. Then you got the red. That's red moon. That's red fire. So it's like a red and a yellow. See the vents are red and then the, the bottom is red. But then the lights are yellow. Then you got the dawn blue. That's like a blue and yellow. And then it tells you up there the color combinations. Like if I do a sun yellow. Then the juggle green. I like this glacier blue because it's like a turquoise color. But let me put it back on my color. I always go with the purple sky. I love that one. It's real spaceshipy. That's just a better inside view.